Hello, welcome to a short update from Excitement. Let's start with ExciteMap, our great product for nav mesh generation, pathfinding and movement. Building a navigation mesh with ExciteMap is easy. You need to import some geometry, you define the surface type for each part of the geometry and you specify the properties of the characters that should use the navigation mesh. And after putting it all together in a so-called build, and setting a couple of parameters, you are all set. After the calculation, the NAV mesh is structured with respect to the different surface types and you can start adding several helpful path objects like blocks, dynamic blocking planes and dynamic blocks, which can be used to manage accessibility of different parts of the NAV mesh during runtime. Using different characters of different size will help you adapt your navigation mesh to your geometry. Excite Map can handle complex geometry and calculates navigation meshes even from things like multi-level buildings, bridges and the like. Since version 3.0, Excite Map includes a flexible movement core which lets you, for example, do multi-unit pathfinding respecting the surface types defined before. The integrated movement core of Excite Map comes with local steering functionality that lets entities react to each other for dynamic collision avoidance. This holds true for movement entities as well as dynamic obstacles. The integrated pathfinding and path smoothing mechanisms Respect the various surface types and give you full flexibility when it comes to adjusting the movement of entities with respect to their specific characteristics. As stated before, the movement core provides you with great dynamic collision avoidance capabilities, as well as advanced pathfinding and path smoothing. Moving groups of entities or individuals, that's all easy to do. Changing the navigation mesh offline using our graphical tool is straightforward. And the same can be done using the library during runtime. Sector-based builds as well as streaming mechanisms for sectors during runtime give you full flexibility and memory control. Now let's have a look at Excite Control, our graphical tool and runtime for modeling behaviors or game logics. Quickly creating states and transitions within the graphical tool makes modeling hierarchical state machines fast and manageable. Probabilities, events and timers give you the freedom you need. With the possibility that states are complete state machines as well, even complex behaviors remain clearly arranged. The built-in cross-platform debugger is a powerful tool for graphically debugging and tweaking your behaviors. Connect the debugger to your application and use history browser, call stack and variable browser to get all the necessary information about control flow and execution of every single state machine. Make changes where applicable and study the effects. I hope this video has given you a good overview. Feel free to visit Excitement at excitement.com or